everybody. Good. It's me, Raquel Castillo Olsey. How are you doing? I'm doing another live video just for you, all my Facebook family and friends and my family that's not on Facebook. How are you guys? I promised you we were going to do videos and you might be wondering why, Raquel, are you now doing videos? The reason is because I have a lot of things I want to share with you guys, okay? There's a lot of things I want to um, partner with you, okay? For example, but I want to help you. I want to help you have more freedom, more money, more time, residual income if you are interested, better health, less stress, less debt, commute, less work, less effort. Give you more for less. And most importantly, hope and love. I love you guys. That's why I wanna do it. So, today we are brought to you by rocky.yanjody.com. We are brought to you by a wonderful producer and director, Tom Olsey Jr. Yay! <laughs> Fabulous! Go, go Yankees, but they lost. Oh. And of course, give God all the glory. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. All right. So today, what am I going to do? Today, I'm going to be making salsa. Salsa. By the, by the way, say hi to your uh, live viewers. Oh, hello, live viewers. Anna. Say Anna. hi, Anna. Hi, Anna. Anna Snow. Anna Snow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I miss you. How are you? Today, I'm going to be making salsa. Celia. Er say hi to Celia and hi. Rudy. Hi, Celia. And who? Rudy. And Rudy. All right. Hi, Rudy. Patsy and, and Marilyn. Pat and Patsy and Marilyn. Hey, Marilyn. Oh, my gosh. Hi. Okay, I'm gonna be making salsa, you guys. Everyone knows how to make salsa. If you don't know how to make salsa, that's okay. I'm gonna teach you how to make it. And I'm gonna teach you how to make it fast. Fast, short, quick. And not spend so much money. Isn't that awesome? So, let's say you're gonna have, com you have company over and you're, they, you didn't expect them and you wanna make salsa, but, and you, but, or you need salsa, but you're at a loss because you don't have time for this or that or the other. But you have a few ingredients. I'm gonna teach you guys my mom's recipe for quick salsa. She made lots of salsas. She made some where you would take your, your tomatoes, your chilies, and you would stew them, and you would peel them, and then there were some where you roasted them, and then you would put them and wrap them in towels and peel them and put them in a blender. I mean, not a blender, oh, right here, folks, right here. She would put them in, can we, to a molcajete, right? And then she would do it by hand. So today, however, we are going to do something different. We're gonna use our blender. Because I do things I have to do, I used to have to cook and make things fast for my kids. So we're doing it in honor of mom. There's mom, there's me and mom, woo! Isn't that fun? Okay, and so, what ingredients? Super simple. Remember, there's many recipes. I'm just giving you one, the fast recipe. We are going to take canned whole tomatoes. Okay, this is 28 ounces. A lot of you get get real, oh, Raquel, how many cups, how many ounces, what? So I put, I have it right here that almost comes out to a quart. So there you go. Now, this is that's only like a dollar fifty dollar at the market, okay? And then you that's use, how you know we're in San Antonio. Then yeah, that's true. Then we're going to you can make it with jalapenos, or you can make it with serrano chilies. Okay. Now guess what, you guys? I bought three serranos yesterday. Can you see those? It came out to six cents. Six cents for these three. And then this one came up to six cents for one. So whatever which you, whatever one you want to try. So now the other ingredient you need is onions or, or garlic. Okay, mom told me, mom taught me that when she would make her salsa, you use either garlic or onion, but not both. No, just one 
or the other, okay? So in this, this recipe that I'm gonna be making with you today live, we're gonna be using onion. And it could be any kind of onion, red onion, these beautiful onions here, the little tiny green onions, any kind of onion. That's why I say it's very versatile. You can use it when company comes over, you gotta make it fast. And I'm sorry if I'm speaking really quick, but I don't want you guys to, I don't wanna lose you. All right, so that's about a quarter cup of onion, right? And then we're gonna get, and we need a little bit of salt. And that's it, isn't that awesome? Okay, so you're saying, well, what about the chilies? What do we do? Okay, this is what I did with the chilies. I roasted them really quick on the grill. If you don't have a griddle, you can take a little saucepan and put it in the saucepan high temperature and just roll it around, roll it around. Now you can't see it, I don't think you can see it from the camera, but it's not burned, it's toasted, okay? So then what we do, let's take it off there. We have two chilies for all this tomato because Raquel is a wimp. Yes, I am. I'm sorry. I am a whip. I'm not. Tom's not a whip. <laughs> no, he's not. Okay, so let's get started, okay? How do we make the salsa? That's it. That's it, Raquel. Just those in. Absolutely, that's it. All right, so I'm going to be a wimp, and I'm not even going to touch it. I'm going to cut the little tail off, the little, the little uh, thing off. This is the other thing Mom taught me. She would grind it, of course, in the molcajeta. She would not use blender but she taught me you first do your onion or garlic not both remember with the chili now it's gonna be weird in the blender because it's not a molcajete but we're gonna do it there first I don't know how loud this is gonna be everybody let's try it As you can see, it went everywhere. All right, and so, and so let's get ready. I'm gonna pull my hair back, sorry guys. Let's get it out of the way, sorry. Okay, now we're gonna do the whole tomatoes. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, why aren't you using diced? Mom didn't use diced, so I'm giving you the recipe mom used, okay? Now remember, there's gonna be a little trick to this, so pay attention. We're gonna take all the tomatoes, pour them in, right? Whoa! Somebody told me to wear an apron, and I didn't listen. My wardrobe person. All right, now, what's, what's the secret, Raquel? There's the secret right there. You save some for the end. I'll show you what that means, all right? We're gonna put that down. Here we go. I made a little bit of a mess. Let me clean it up. Now we can, I apologize for the sound. Here we go. Okay, good enough. So, as you can see, it's nice and liquidy. It looks beautiful. I've got a little bit of the bits of the chili down there, and that's okay. I'll take my little thing, put it in there, and we'll blend it again if we have to. But it looks really good, you guys, and I wish you were here so you could smell it. It smells really delicious. Let me do it one more time. Hope it, hope it works. All right, here comes the secret. Here comes the secret, oh, ho, ho. that's gonna make it look really, really awesome. This is what my mom taught me, okay? We're gonna take See how it's nice and creamy and liquidy? Okay, now we're gonna take these last three or two or whatever you wanna save. It's up to you, it's your preference. I'm gonna put them into the blender, right? And you're probably going, what is the, what are you doing? What's the big deal? I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna take, I, some of you might already know what I'm gonna do. Anyway, here we go. I'm gonna put that lid back on. Why isn't my lid thick? I don't know. Okay, here we go. I'm only gonna chop it a little bit. Just pulse it. All right. 
that's going to give my salsa some texture. It's going to leave some nice little chunks in it for me. It's going to make it look nice and lumpy, bumpy, salsa looking. Okay, and you notice I only did it a couple times. All right. You're going to look at it now. I'm going to pour it in this container. I also have a bowl. But see, now the texture's changed. It's not all watery. I'm going to put some in my nice pretty blue bowl from the company's there, right? And there we go. Now, here's another trick my mom taught me. I'm going to teach you guys. My mom never let anything go to waste. We add a little bit of water. Of course, she would do it in the morcajete, and they would clean up the morcajete really good. And we'd put some of that in there. Clean it up. And we'd clean it up and add that last little bit. All right. Now, always a little bit of salt. Remember, guys, salt is good for you. Don't believe the hype. Salt is good for you. We need it so that our stomach can make acid, so we can our stomachs can work better to absorb nutrients. Very important. I'm stirring it. Oh, this one especially looks really good. See how it's lumpy? And you know, I could have even done it less. Okay, there you go. Now, we're gonna take a bake. These are baked chips. You don't wanna buy regular chips, you guys, that are fried. That's not good. We don't want that. I'm afraid, I'm scared, you guys. Yeah, it's hot. To you, it's probably not hot. To me, it's hot. It's mild. No, it's not as hot. <laughs> so, there you have it, guys. Very simple. You wanna make it pretty, you wanna make it look nice. We're gonna put on it something. Sorry, Flory, I apologize to my mother-in-law but we can make it pretty, put a little bit of cilantro on it. There you go, there you go. So there's your salsa, guys. Very nice, so simple. Wasn't that simple? You can make it so quick for your, <laughs> the chili's killing me. It can, it's so simple for you. You can make it so fast, okay, everybody? Isn't that wonderful? All right, so salsa with or without cilantro, if you don't have cilantro, it's okay. You can even put a little sprigs of your celery on top, make it look pretty. So, there you have it. Thank you, Mom. I will be bringing you more recipes, more live videos. I have a lot of things I wanna share with you guys. Welcome to my kitchen. It's half done. We're not showing you the rest of the kitchen because that's not done yet. Next, next time you come, we are going to make guacamole mmm guacamole and guacamole has a lot of excellent cholesterol which is something we need okay so we're gonna make guacamole next time with guests are you ready are we looking are you listening with only two items quick fast in a hurry guacamole I look forward to seeing you and sharing more recipes with you I have a lot of cool ideas to share with you and but mostly like I said I have um, my business, which is going to help us to get that house down at the ocean. You're going to be invited. And also, I want to give a shout out to, um, to the Young Movement Group in Dillon. I want to say hello to Michelle Chanel. I'm sorry, excuse me, Denise Chanel. I don't know where I'm Michelle from. Denise Chanel and to Dillon and Devin out there. You guys are all out there at the uh, Horseshoe Bay. They're at Horseshoe Bay at a resort. Sorry we missed you. Uh, one more thing, a shout out to a customer again. The Gates, again, another order. Wow, thank you so much. We appreciate it. And one more thing, you guys, don't forget, we're going to, I'm planning to, I'm planning to do more videos introducing people to you like Louis Carranza, my brother-in-law, who, who has, um, who I want to share his story with you, amazing man. You have maybe seen his car in Straight Outta Compton. Very awesome man. And I want to share things with you like plants, how to make a beautiful arrangement. It's so easy. I, can, I gotta share with you. It's, you need to have the thriller, the filler, and the trailer. See how simple? Lots of ideas, a lot of cool things I want to share with you. Why? Because I love you guys. I believe in you guys. 
come and check back with me, okay? Love you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye, everybody.